Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to mine and Nick Grab session on um, showcasing archaeological prospection. We chose this topic following um, an editorial that I did for the CIFA magazine, um, The Archaeologist. Do take a look because we got some great articles from throughout the sector. Um, but this was based on a paper that Aspinall and Haig did slightly over 25 years ago now, looking at the first 25 years of the history of archaeological prospection. Mostly geophysics. We're not just going to talk about geophysics today. We also have some geoarchaeology and some remote sensing stuff that Nick does. Um, I wanted to um, address the fact that we don't have any women speakers today. This is not at all by design. This is because we just didn't receive any abstracts from women and we are looking into the factors so that hopefully we can have a more balanced session next time we run one. <laughs> yes. So I could have presented my own research, which I will just tell you about briefly. I'm currently a PhD student for Historic England and Bournemouth University looking at the effectiveness of geophysical survey within the archaeological process. So I'm hoping that um, the evidence that I create will help inform future survey strategies. And I'm at the point where I'm collecting data now to use and building my first test models with, with my supervisor, Tom Cromwell here. Um, um, on a note that we don't have any women, there is currently a new podcast out called Survey Like a Girl, which is interviewing women working in archaeological geophysics. And that is Kimberly Teal's project, so please do take a look. Um, and we don't have all the normal faces here today. That is because Professor Chris Gaffney, as he is, is giving his inaugural um, lecture in Bradford today. So congratulations to Chris from myself and Geosig, but also really bad on the timing there. Um, and final note from Geosig. If you're interested in geophysics, you don't have to be on the committee to help. Please do any projects that we're doing, do feel free to get involved.